Successful Minds with Patricia Barnowski Schneider, the show that takes you around the world to share interviews with some of the most successful and relevant people on the planet. Hear their stories and get the most important business lessons they have learned on their road to success and get exclusive advice on how to implement their success into your life and business. Successful Minds with Patricia Barnowski Schneider is brought to you by the Strategic Advisor Board and your host, Patricia Barnowski Schneider. Hello and welcome back to Successful Minds. I'm your host, Patty Baranowski Schneider, CEO of Pristine Advisors. Today I'm joined by the pro storm chaser, Zachary Hall. Our topic today focuses on how Zachary turned his passion into a legitimate career and his world changed seemingly in the flash of it with social media exposure. So I'll let him tell you a little bit more about himself, but welcome, Zachary. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm glad to be here. So Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. What exactly is it you do? Well, my name is Zachary Hall. Um, I actually turn uh, 28 tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday. Um, and I know, getting up there. So uh, <laughs> I live in Greenwood, that. Arkansas, which <laughs> is in West Central Arkansas near the town of Fort Smith for people who might not be familiar with the region. Um, okay. And I work in the weather world. I'm not a meteorologist. Uh, I don't do any news affiliation. I really had no interest on that side of the weather world. Um, I've always had an interest in tracking severe weather and, and experiencing it in person. Uh, it initially was just a hobby and a passion. As I got older, I realized I could turn it into a legitimate career through social media outlets, okay. YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. Mm -hmm. If if it's out there, I'm probably <laughs> on it in some fashion. Oh, it's um, awesome. Yeah. yeah. And it's just, uh, I turned pro in 2020 and, you know, started, you know, uh, logging some legitimate sponsorship opportunities and promotional opportunities and, and gaining traction mm -hmm. worldwide wow. on, on it. Uh, and I have a couple of different brands in that retrospect, and it's just, I'm so blessed to be living my dream. I absolutely love what I do, so. No, it's great. I mean, I actually found you, I don't even live in Arkansas, but I just love what you post. Like, I'm always well, fascinated with all of this. Like, you know, Twister is one of my all-time favorite movies, like Storm Chasers. Okay. And I had a friend of mine who was actually going to school. I lost touch with her, but she was going to school for being a meteorologist. And, you know, like, it's crazy at a town. I used to be a licensed skydiver. So I was very familiar with being in the clouds and enjoying all this good stuff. But, you know, like seeing the cloud formations and, you know, there's so much more about it that I have no clue. To me, they're just beautiful. Yeah. But, you know, I love like living vicariously through your posts. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I love it. I'm glad you enjoy it. Even if you're not from from the area, I'm glad you enjoy it. No, uh, you know, I always say like, I and so many groups on Facebook and things with photographers and stuff like that. Like there's just so much beauty in the world that if I'm not physically there, I can still enjoy it through photos. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. So tell us, um, I guess, you know, you're in the weather world. Tell us a bit about your process. Like, what is it you do and how, how this affects people? Because I, I mean, like I see you post things about, you know, the ice storms and the snow. I mean, to us, people just say, oh, cold out, hot out, you know, the weather. It doesn't give you all the details on right. what it, what this stuff is and how it's important. Yeah, so I actually have, um, I obviously, am a pro storm chaser. So my, my duty, I guess, in that aspect is to track severe weather, you know, warn the public in that regard. <clears throat> I, like I said earlier, I live in the state of Arkansas, and I've developed a brand called the Arkansas Storm Tracker brand where I do my best to warn the general public here in the state of Arkansas of notable weather events. I don't do seven-day forecast. I'm not, I don't work on that side, but if it's going to impact you on a large scale, you're, you're going to hear it from me. Mm -hmm. Then I also have the Vortex Chasing brand, uh, and that is my worldwide brand where I document everything. Like, for a, a great example, I drove to Florida for Hurricane Ian a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. I posted a little bit about that on my Arkansas Storm Tracker stuff, but not a lot because I was in Florida. Right. So Vortex Chasing allows me to explore that side as well. So I have uh, an aisle on both sides, if that makes sense. Right. Um, but I look at weather models daily. I, right before I hopped on here with you, I was looking at some stuff. <laughs> um, and it's, you know, obviously everyone has access to a cellular phone. And you can look at a mobile app, and it'll tell you what the weather might be like this afternoon. Right. But there's a lot that goes into it, especially on a... Uh, synoptic scale in the world of meteorology. And it's taken me a long time to divulge into this stuff, but it's a daily process and it's very, very stressful. Some people might not know that uh, you you will lose. I'm losing some hair already. 
So it's a daily process. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, there's always a joke about the weatherman. You know, it's you're whether you're right or wrong, you're still, you know. But it is. I mean, yeah, you know. But it is crazy. Like I get alerts on my phone, and literally, if I check the the forecast from my local area, from minute to minute, it changes. Like it, I yesterday, I was sitting here, and it said snow should start in ten minutes. And I'm like snow like really yeah obviously nowhere near as much as you got but um you know and then it didn't snow it it rained and you know there's so much more involved in all of this that you don't really know and you know like as far as chasing these and you know they are connected somehow you know if something's on the west coast or you know down south or you know the nature of the world it's going to eventually affect us somehow some way and whether it even if it is just the weather, it could be the food production because of the weather. And so people need to know, you know, whether it's East weather, Coast, West Coast, North, South. Weather, the one reason why I feel like what I do is successful isn't necessarily me. It's more so that no matter if you care about the weather or not, no matter if you could give two flips about it, it will impact you in some form. Right. And that's why, and it's always changing. Every single day, it's something different. So it really allows a niche where you can ever expand if that makes sense right so, especially here in arkansas it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty wild down here so no i see from like the you know you're between the snow and then someone else on the west coast like what you did with the um the ruler i was like wow you know i mean yeah. I, it, the, the weather's been crazy like even uh-huh. here we're i think i don't know let's just say we're in 45 degrees i mean we're at the end of january this is unheard of i know but you know it, it, again it all it all plays a role somewhere down the line. <laughs> yep. Yep. So you're traveling around for all of these storms. And uh-huh. you're, I guess, you know, I don't know how all this stuff works. Do you keep logs so that you can see where things are moving? Or like, how, how exactly does this work? So uh, we have access from a weather model perspective to, <clears throat> excuse me, the information, sometimes up to 400 hours out. Now, wow. here's the problem, though. When you get beyond four to five days, you really lose reliability on data sets. So we usually try to plan, you know, four or five days, you know, we're look we're we're looking three or four days, it's becoming a trend, one or two days we're locking in and then the, here's the day of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm constantly planning for my next system. Obviously during the summertime down here, it's usually just hot. There's <laughs> like nothing going on. But you know, in the winter, fall and spring months, I am one hundred miles an hour all the time. Wow. Um, and like I said earlier, I do have my niche and my, my day job, I guess if you would say, is the Arkansas weather-related stuff. But I mean, if there's a system in Oklahoma tomorrow, three or four hours away, that's worth covering from a social media perspective, uh, I'm out the road. You know, I'm on the road. That's right. I have outlets and how I get paid in doing that, especially through like YouTube and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So right. it's, you know, I have to turn down some trips sometimes. <laughs> to stay sane. I'm not kidding. I mean, it's right. just. And like you said earlier, you know, there's weather is a fluid. There could be stuff going on, on the West Coast here in the Southern Plains. But then the next thing you know, we've got a nor'easter in the northeastern part of the country. You know, you never know what's going to be coming next. So it's ever evolving, ever planning all the time. So, yeah, and things just change. Like I, I was born and raised in Manhattan and mm-hmm. it's a city, you know, and I'll never yeah. forget, like, we never, we don't, there never had tornadoes. And even if we had hurricane, um, it was just a little bit of rain, no big deal. <clears throat> and then we had the one year. Um, I mean, I, I actually was living in Long Island at the time, but it like literally flooded out Manhattan. And yeah. I remember like, you just see the pictures and the videos and, you know, it, it was just insane. And I'm like, I have never in my life seen anything like that before. So the weather, obviously, you know, when they always say, don't mess with mother nature, she's, <laughs> she's not someone to mess with, but you know, you never know. And then when I was out here on Long Island, we we're basically on an island. And um, I forget what hurricane that was, um, Katrina. And, you know, it was just devastation everywhere. You know, my one friend in their home, um, their basement, like they had like a, a finished basement. Mm-hmm. Their furniture, refrigerator and everything was floating. I, it was just insane. And, you know, people don't realize like how things affect everything. And like I said, if something happens on the West Coast or down South, you know, the way the world works, eventually it's going to come to you, whether it's this way, this way, this way, this way. So you need to be aware of what happens everywhere. Yeah, And I just, I'm fascinated by like how you guys all track this stuff. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. Yeah. So you travel all across the U.S. just doing all of this? Yeah. You know, if, if it's, um, can be, in my opinion, deemed notable to the public. Right. And if I, obviously I'm a weather nerd, but I, this is a job, so I can't just, 
it needs to be, I don't want it to ever sound this way, profitable mm -hmm. as far as a investment standpoint, the gas, the fuel, the food, the hotels. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, if it's notable to me, a lot of times it's going to be notable to the general public and there right. will be uh, a reasoning for making the trip to cover it from a public perspective. Right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we travel all the, I was in Minnesota this spring, Wyoming, yeah. I, Florida, South Florida. I mean, I go all <laughs> over the place. If, if it's, if it's worth the trip, I'll be there for sure. Well, it's amazing. Like even, you know, how say produce, you know, like up here in the North, we get, you know, it's colder. So we don't have like Florida's known for the oranges. I mean, we don't grow that just, you know, so stuff like that. Again, people up here who are getting the produce from downtown, they need to know what's going on down there. Absolutely. You know, so really, um, I think that's awesome. Probably get yeah. like, if you don't already, you probably get good sponsorship just from, you know, the stores and whatnot who rely on knowing, are we going to have enough produce for our yeah. store in the next three months or where we have it at? Absolutely. Um, yeah. That's incredible. Um, and what were you saying in the initial thing? You said you have two products. Yeah, so I have um, I have I have two brands perspective, okay. two respective brands in this field. Um, you know, a lot of times people who discover me, Zachary Hall, the person, um, they might quickly realize that I have a bias here in Arkansas because I'm from here, and the, you know the Arkansas Storm Tracker brand is so notable. But what a lot of people might not know is that I also own the Vortex Chasing brand. And if you are, like you, you live in New York, correct? Right. You live in New York. You know, if someone's listening to this from California, if they're listening to this from Minnesota, wherever it might be, the Vortex Chasing brand, we have Twitter, we have Facebook, we have a YouTube channel, and we discuss weather from all over the country, not just here where I'm uh, right. here in Arkansas. So I always like to let people know that. That way they're not ran off when they hear me talking about Arkansas <laughs> because I'm from here. Right. But I have two respective brands, Vortex Chasing, and then, of course, my own insignia, Zachary Hall, okay. the Arkansas Storm Tracker. So right. really proud of those two brands. I've spent a lot of work, for sure. Nice. I'll, put, I'll post that at the end of the video, okay. too, so people can follow it all. Perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess your family must be so sick of you talking about the weather at this point. <laughs> My wife, she, um, yeah, I can't help it sometimes. Yeah. I, I stress. I mean, it's the <laughs> last. So we, we still have plenty of snow outside right now. It's starting to melt a little bit. But, um, you know, prior to this winter storm arriving, I mean, it's a big deal down here. Uh, yeah. We don't deal with it as much as the northern part of the country. So, right. and, you know, it was very stressed. My wife is just about ready to strangle this snow <laughs> and get it out of here. So, and then, of course, we have ice potential next week. So she's like. Great. So, I yeah, I talk about it a lot. I can't help yeah. it. I'm a weather nerd, so. But people never realize that. Like, I, my sister, well, actually, nowadays, too, where um, everybody has these, you know, the cameras on the door. Um, so you see, I can't tell you how many times people show videos of somebody just walking out of the house. They slipped on it. Happened yep. to be my sister last week. But But, I mean, that's a hard hit, you know? I mean, she was out of work for, like, a week. But these are things, like, you know, if you're in an area where it freezes, these are things that you need to know. And, yep. you know, like I said, I can't just rely on the, the local weather because it's hit or miss. And, like you say, you lose that um, reliability if it goes on so long. So, normally, we'll look yep. at, like, the five-day forecast, and it's always like, well, that's later. Unless, you know, it's two days off, yep. we'll just kind of vaguely, you know, yeah. Take that to what, heart, but weather apps are great for day of planning because sometimes mm -hmm. they can be accurate. But most of the mobile weather apps that we have access to beyond a couple mm -hmm. of days really don't have the human element to right. grasp differences and stuff like that. I always right. tell people to just be careful, you never know what it's going to tell you. So, yeah, uh, yeah, so many times it'll say, you know, cloudy, rainy, whatnot, and <laughs> no one knows out. Yeah, yeah, it's like, what happened? And the funny part is, me and my husband have two, like, I'm on an uh, Android, he's, you know, not, mm -hmm. um, our weathers will be totally opposite, you know. I'm not 100% opposite, but, you know, not not as accurate as I would like, but <laughs> nice. I found you. So you have your YouTube channel also. Yep. So you want to talk yep. about what you post on that? Yeah, so YouTube is kind of a new endeavor for me. Uh, my baby is Facebook. That's where <laughs> I got started. Facebook is my, my breadwinner. I mean, where I make most of my money financially mm -hmm. through what I do. But YouTube, I think, is the future. Everything is linked to YouTube. Right. So yeah. uh, I do have a Zachary Hall Arkansas Storm Tracker YouTube channel that I'm okay. I'm working on a video as we speak. Nice. Uh, and then I also have Vortex Chasing uh, YouTube as well. That's mainly used for live streaming our chases. Wow. So if we're in Texas or Oklahoma or Kansas or wherever, 
and we're out on the road pursuing severe weather, we'll have a live feed up for people to watch and maintain. And then, of course, I do live stuff on my YouTube channel if I'm here in the state of Arkansas. So, That's still love so awesome. YouTube. I'm yeah. monetized now on both channels. Okay. That was a lot of work, so really exciting to get that uh, you know accomplished. Right. But uh, YouTube is kind of my new endeavor now, along with Facebook. No, I mean, and I see you already got like a ton of connections on there. I'm like, wow, yeah. I'm like super, yeah. I mean, it's you've got over 6,000 subscribers. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. I'm about, the YouTube channel has been a lot. That YouTube channel has been up for about a year and a half, but I really Still didn't start bad. posting until... I mean, two two months ago is when I started. So I'm about two months in, so really proud of the progress so far. Yeah, you see our, I mean, so you'd be so surprised. Hard. I mean, I'm prime example. I don't even live near you, but I just am fascinated by all this. And I like how you post the videos and you post this, you know, because I can watch the news and all that. But yeah, to sure. be honest, I don't even watch the news. It's depressing. But when I did, <laughs> it was just for a quick thing to get the weather and that was yeah. it. But, you know, just having someone who can share all that and show videos, like you love watching that stuff where there's someone's live as this is happening. Yeah. It's like, wow, you know, and you could yeah. hear about like a hurricane and it's not the same as if you see somebody who's physically there. It's like, wow, it's that bad, you know? I agree. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, I totally, totally commend you. I think you're doing an awesome job. <laughs> I appreciate that. Sure. Who would benefit from this in terms of like a sponsor or something like that? Yeah, sure. I mean, um, from a sponsorship perspective, like right now, uh, the Arkansas Storm Tracker brand, uh, I am sponsored by a HVAC company. They do plumbing, electric, all that stuff. And I'm sponsored by a larger chain of gas stations here in the state of Arkansas. But anyone um, who has vehicular items, you know, windshield wipers, tire products, whatever it might be. I'm on the road a lot. Okay. Um, I mean, anything to do with weather, tornado right. shelter companies. I mean, I have a large voice in that regard because of tornadoes. I mean, right. um, but anything to do with weather. If you have a okay. product that can be tied in with weather, um, I do my best to make it work for my followers. That way it's not only, I don't want it to be cringy. I don't want ever my product push to be um I don't know how to put it. I, I want it to be realistic. Um, mm -hmm. So that's the what I always try to do. And if it has something to do with weather, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to push nail polish. I'm not. Right. Sorry. No, absolutely. Yeah. But <laughs> if, it, if there's something that I can tie in with what I do, uh, I have no doubt in my mind that it'll be successful. And I've, okay. I've got a track record to prove it. Nice. So I always like to reach out to people who have weather-related products or products that can be tied in with. Uh, yeah, even rain coach, rain boots. I it could totally think of some other Hats, people. I'll tag them in this, but yeah, yep. yeah. I mean, it, everybody has to make a living, and obviously, what you're doing is really valuable. You could just see that by your connections. So I think yeah. that's awesome. And anybody else who can benefit from that, by all means. <laughs> you what you you've actually went and seen actual tornadoes and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've, I've seen. I've seen <laughs> Seen several. Uh, I've had some some rather interesting experiences, of course, with tornadoes. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I saw my first tornado like in person back in 2018. Um, it was my first, you know, solo experience, and um, I've had several chases prior that were just uh, bust that I just didn't do things right and right. and didn't forecast correctly. So my first Learning. experience, yeah. uh, it hooked me. <laughs> I, explain. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it's just something that. You know, there's so many people that will go through their life and never see one. Yeah, but from what I'm not, we don't. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty wild. So I can I only imagine. It. I don't love. I tell people all the time. I don't. I don't love the destruction. I don't yeah. love that side of tornadoes. But I love the science. I love studying, yeah. and I love being up close and personal because I feel like it might help us as people in the future know more about these things, what we can do better. Sure. Uh, things of that regard so yeah well like i said the hurricane that we had that time that flooded out manhattan i mean had that have not actually happened we would have never in a billion years ever tried to prepare for that sort of thing because it's kind of like you know you can actually see that apparently we've had random earthquakes up this way which is not a normal thing that's usually like a west coast thing but uh -huh. until it happens and you physically like are witnessing it it's like why would we ever care about that like eh, it's cute to see on tv but it doesn't affect me you know and that's the attitude a lot of people have but having witnessed it now you know you can explain okay here's why you should take this stuff seriously and then the trickle effect of what what that here today and what yeah. people could do you know that's why i think it's crazy but like this whole glo global warming you know big hot topic these days <clears throat> that's yep. something that's been talked about for decades but now you're starting to see stuff you yeah. know but you know, climate climate crisis is a lot of you know hot topic of discussion. Uh, yeah. I tell people a lot. 
um, you know, whenever it comes to weather related stuff and, and in that regard, I try to kind of avoid it because I don't, I try to avoid anything that can be turned political on my platforms, yeah, but it's a, you know, it's a hot topic. Climate yeah, change is a hot sure. topic. So, um, but that's for another podcast, not about Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I hear you. <laughs> avoid religion and politics and you'll keep yep. yourself out of trouble. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay. So what's one big takeaway you want listeners to get from this episode? Um, if, especially if you're listening, because your podcast has a basis with, uh, it sounds like entrepreneurship and stuff like that, uh, okay. being successful in their own regard. Mm-hmm. Um, I have not always been in this position. I worked a government job. Um, I went to college and did that. And, um, I was not satisfied with where I was in life and what I was doing. I was unhappy with what I was doing. You can absolutely turn your passions into a career and into a dream with enough hard work. Sometimes it's not easy. Um, and I know that this is all talk about weather and stuff, but on the flip side, I get to do what I love, uh, even though it stresses me out sometimes. So if you're listening and you have a dream or something that you want to do, if even has nothing to do with weather, you can do it and don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't, because I promise you, you can, so if there was anything, that's, that's one thing for me, chase your dreams. Life's too short. Yes. Chase your dreams. That was awesome. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> well, thanks again for being on the show. So again, everyone, that was Pro Storm Chaser and Zachary Hall. Um, thanks for listening to Successful Minds with Patty B. Never miss an episode by subscribing to the show. I'll provide the links in the end. But you can also listen via Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. So thank you again. Thank you for listening to Successful Minds with your host, Patricia Barnowski-Schneider. Please leave your feedback and visit strategicadvisorboard.com to get the latest and greatest business advisement on the planet. Follow us on social media for updates, and we'll see you on the next episode.